Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on this channel. I'm Lucas, and in this one, I wanna talk about how you can use ChatGPT instead of Siri on the iPhone. So let's get into it. First of all, there's no natural or built-in way to replace Siri with ChatGPT, but there are plenty of workarounds that will get the job done. For example, if you have an iPhone with the action button on the side, you can set it up to activate the voice version of ChatGPT, so you can go directly there if you prefer. At first, you need to set up a SireEye shortcut for it. So open up the shortcuts, create a new one, and choose the action to be the open ChatGPT voice. If you can't see this action, ensure you have the official ChatGPT app installed on your iPhone. Once you have this shortcut ready, you can place on the home screen, on the lock screen as a widget, or configure the action button to trigger this shortcut and therefore enable voice GPT directly. This can be done in the settings. On the main page, there is the action button menu and you just pick the shortcut we just created. I know it doesn't replace Siri directly, but instead of holding on the big side button to activate Siri, you can just hold the action button on the other side to enable the voice GPT. As I mentioned, you can also place it directly on the home screen or even lock screen to have it readily available as a button instead of the action button shortcut. So plenty of options, as I said, but again, it can't do some things that Siri can, like controlling your device or open specific apps. So I personally recommend you to use both at the same time and just choose the one which will get the job done better. So that's it for me. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if you found this video helpful. Also, if any insights or thoughts pop in your head, let me know as well. Consider subscribing too, and thank you for watching.